One thing that I constantly get as a question from my friend circle and neighbors is how are you always this happy Kripalni or at times they ask how is it that you are always smiling and when I hear this question I initially wouldn't know how to answer it. I thought maybe all of us by default are happy but when you look at the world life does take a toll on the souls. So I sat down and reflected and penned the answer. So the next time someone asks me how are you this happy Kripalni I want to share my secret and I actually do that today. So might as well spill that bean here. Here are my secrets. The seven must know secrets to have a happy life and millions of smiles. One, set yourself free from the worldly definitions. You know, we all try to navigate and try to fix ourselves into the norms of the society to show that we are befitting and we keep trying to please and it's a never ending cycle. Take my example. I've been sharing these videos every single day for the last 30 plus days. I could have given up and as per the society, I don't have a huge number of followers. But guess what? My vision is bigger than those societal norms. Even if one life changes and one person invests a little more in taking care of their mind, body and soul, then I call it a success. Numbers will obviously follow, but they don't define me. When I see a comment or a DM, that gives me happiness and not the numbers. The world doesn't define my goals. The person who defines it is me. 2. Journal your worries away. I've said this enough number of times and please make sure that you build this habit of journaling. You'll no more need someone else to take care of your mind. Every single day when I sit down and journal, I pour my thoughts into it. That clears my mind and hits the reset button in my mind. There is nothing left in my mind to worry about and I can have a sound sleep. And when Kripalni has a sound sleep, she wakes up like a live wire the next morning, which is the case most of the days. And three, don't hold on to unhealthy relationships. Yes, it's difficult to let go, but let go before you have to be sorry. You know, there have been so many people who come into our lives and they come for a purpose or a reason, teach us a lesson and when it's time, we need to learn to move on. Stagnating a non-working relationship and making it toxic only hurts both of us. It need not be intimate relationships. It could be anything or with anybody for that matter. It could be your friend, it could be your family member or could be your colleague. Learn to set them free when you're growing apart. And I really hope that it makes sense to you. 4. Religiously sit and meditate every single day. Oh, there is no match to this. I feel that during the practice, I connect to the power of the universe and stay in oneness with that higher supreme form. When I'm done with my practice, there is absolutely nothing that can shake my core or my mental peace. And yes, there is an entire playlist of practices for you, which you can use to practice every single day here on my channel. I'll link up the videos here in the eye and also in the description box below. Invest that time in yourself. Five, don't look for external validation. You know, all my life, I've been a people pleaser myself, at least up to the last seven years. And when I started validating myself, then life became a little more simple, but extremely powerful. Now you get to set standards and you set the boundaries. You know what I mean? So practice that. Affirmations has been that one thing that has changed my life in this journey. Whoever that I am today, I owe it to this practice because I affirm every single day and that's how the Aham kit of the tall elephant was born. It's a comprehensive, all-inclusive affirmations kit created in collaboration with mental health professionals, test groups and designers. I hope you've already grabbed your copy because this is a limited edition. And yes, I've left a special discount coupon for you in the description box below for a super special discount. Take it away. 6. Count your blessings. Remember, it's very easy to complain and more so when we're going through a very tough or rough patch of time. At times like this is when it's important to count our blessings and be grateful. You know, while making one of these 35 videos, I was so stressed out because of the technical nuances that I did a live gratitude practice and I felt grounded immediately. Do take a look at that particular video. I'll link it up for you here in the eye. 7. Exercise regularly. 
even to this day i can see the difference in my mood on days that i exercise and those that i don't i can see how cloudy headed i am when i haven't exercised so get your body moving every single day if you can because exercising is the quickest way to release happy hormones and get your life going remember to practice all these seven things and trust me when life throws lemons at you you will be prepared to make a kick ass lemonade and host a party smile away my friend because life is meant to be lived and enjoyed with that i will see you on the next video and i can't wait to catch up with you there come over